Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with our Bitcoin TA, because currently it looks like that we are dropping and this could just be the beginning, we're gonna have a little uh, quick overlook into Binance because I want to point out that all these altcoins that you can buy, especially in the DeFi space, most of them you can already buy here on Binance. So you don't have necessarily to go to Uniswap and pick up the coins that maybe will pump in the future, also because it is quite dangerous to invest in some projects that already pumped because most of the times you're just gonna see a pump and dump scenario and behind the project there is not much. But once they get listed here on Binance, of course they already had uh, most of its pump already, but once they're gonna be listed here on Binance, then most of the times those projects are very legit and that's why also they will get sooner or later added here on Binance. Of course they already pumped, but usually also when they get listed here, they continue to pump, especially like we have seen on Chainlink, Band Protocol, BNT, and so on. So this is very important for the next coming weeks and months when we are having these major corrections like we're seeing right now and most likely we're gonna also see it in the next couple of days and you want to diversify a little bit into some altcoins then I very very recommend you to stay over here on Binance. Of course if you want to gamble a bit you can also invest and put some money also over on Uniswap but if you're a beginner and if you're not sure what you should invest in then maybe stay here on Binance and focus on those DeFi projects that are already here on Binance. Of course they maybe already have pumped a lot but at least you can be sure you're not gonna buy something wrong that maybe already had its pump and it's just gonna dump and then maybe even have an exit scam or something like this. So I very recommend you to stay on Binance if you want to invest into some altcoins and if you need an account here on Binance, you find the link down below here in the video description with my link, you can register over to Binance. And if you're using my link, of course, you support the channel as well. So very appreciated if you can use the link down below here in the video description to open up an account on Binance. Maybe in the future, I will have a co-work with them. So if you already sign up with my link right now, you also will get benefits in coming projects together with Binance. So shout out to all the people over there over on Binance. So now my friends we can start with our Bitcoin TA because after this drop yesterday when we have lost here this $11,500 support we crashed down towards $11,000 and as you can see here in the one hour time frame, we came into very oversold condition. We had the RSI almost at the zero level. Also, if we have a look into Bollinger Band, you can see that we completely overshooted it to the downside. And now we had the healthy retracement back into the middle line. And currently we even came back above here in the upper area of the Bollinger Band. Of course, we're squeezing now again towards the top here and most likely we're gonna have some resistance now here at $11,500 to $11,600, but it is very likely that we're going up to retest previous support which now could be acting as a resistance. So it's up to you if you want to short or take it as a long opportunity right now, but it is most likely the case that we're gonna go up to retest those levels. And there you have to decide if you want to take profits or if you think that we are going higher that you already start to scaling longs right now because it is possible that we're going straight back up again towards $12,000 but at the moment it looks like that this could be the beginning of a major correction even possibly down towards 10k where also we have a future gap at $9,600. Also in the one hour you can see that the stochastic is coming into very overbought condition. MACD just had a bullish cross so here we have a lot of room left to the upside and also the RSI right now is testing here the 50 level. So it is very likely that we're gonna break it now to the upside and also retest here the, the 250 moving average in the one hour towards our new possibly resistance here at around 11,500 even up to $11,700. 
And now let's go over to the four hour time frame because here you can see that we are coming into oversold condition, not completely oversold, but it looks like then in the next couple of hours we could have a buy signal which could indicate that we're going to test here this area here very soon. And if you're interested in this buy signal, then make sure to subscribe here to the channel on YouTube. Also over on Twitch, you find the link down below here in my video description for Twitch and of course also the Discord trading chat. If you have Discord, then please, you're very welcome to join our free Discord trading chat. You find all the links down below here in the video description. And also here you can see that the RSI is coming down to oversold condition. We still have some room left to the downside. Yesterday I was expecting the price to reach here the 200 moving average which currently is at $10,400 where also the next support is lining up at $10,500. If we zoom out here a bit you can see that here we had some initial resistance which now could be some support in case that we're going to drop down here which is also the next fib line here so at around $10,500 to $10,300. So watch out for these levels if you want to scale in some longs down here if you think that we're gonna have a big bounce from it. But currently it looks like that we're already taking here a breather and most likely gonna already now test here the new resistance. Only if we're able to close four hour candles above $11,700 then I think we are again in for this ascending triangle which most likely will break out to the upside and the target will be at around $14,000. Although if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour, currently we are still trading in the lower area. So also here it is possible that we are going to test here the middle area between 11,700 down to 11,550. If we are getting rejected here, then we're going to have a continuation of this dump. And here the bottom is currently at around 11,270. We have also here the Stochastic very oversold. So also here it looks like that we are gearing up for a push to the upside. That's why I'm expecting here a possible buy signal pretty soon if we are starting to trade sideways here or if we continue to pump a bit and uh, if we have a look into the MACD also here it looks like that in the next couple of hours we could potentially have a bullish cross because also here the MACD is coming down where most likely we're gonna have a bullish cross if we continue to trade like that only if we would drop towards ten thousand five hundred dollar then I think we will see the dump coming even down at around ten thousand to nine thousand five hundred dollar before a major pull to the upside again all right and now let's have a look into the daily time frame because here very very important even though we closed below eleven thousand five hundred dollar which is bearish at least in terms of our supports you can see that we bounced perfectly at the 20 daily moving average and currently we are seeing a healthy bounce here to the upside that's why i think it is very very likely that with this move we're gonna test our new resistance here at around 11,700 and there you have to decide if you want to take a short position or if you want to go long because once we're gonna break it then most likely if we're gonna have a four hour and daily close above $11,700 we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside towards our next level of 14,000 but here if today we're not able to close again above 11,700 most likely we're gonna start here the dump towards here these uh, previous resistance which now should be acting as a support at around 9700 to 10 because here although we have this CME gap still opened here as you can see at $9,600 and this will most likely with this move here if we're starting now the correction gonna be filled and of course we can also go lower than that but this is the price level where I would start to buy back into Bitcoin again and also into some alts if you want to diversify into some altcoins that's why also make sure that you already have a Binance account opened put some tether in there if you took out profits so you can start to diversify also into some altcoins once we're gonna have maybe the short-lived correction to the downside and of course also here you can see that after having this sell signal in the daily Bitcoin started to correct here a bit also the RSI cooled already a bit down here which is a good sign but also here you can see that we still have some room left to the downside so yet we didn't test here this uh, 50 level in the RSI and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band here you can see that we came down to the middle area which is a very healthy correction after overshooting it to the 
upside and also here we are bouncing again to the upside and you can see also the next uh, moving average here is at eleven thousand six hundred dollars so it is very likely that we will see this test and if we're able to close the daily candle above this level then we are back into the upper area which is a very bullish sign because then we could see a possible retest here of this twelve thousand dollar area only if we would lose here this 11,160 level in the Bollinger Band, we are starting to trade in the lower part. So in theory, we could even drop towards 9,850, where also our bearish target is lining up. We have the stochastic now in oversold condition. So also here, it looks like that we could have a possible bounce to the upside. But the problem is that the MACD here was quite toppy and already here you see yesterday we had here a bearish cross which indicate that we could see a major dump incoming. That's why guys make sure to be ready whatever you want to trade go long go short once we're gonna retest this level you have to decide. Currently, I think we will see a possible bounce to the upside and retest this area, maybe even up to $12,000. But if we are seeing a major rejection once more, then maybe prepare for a correction down towards 10K, maybe even lower. Because if we go over into the weekly time frame, you can see that currently we are retracing back into the Bollinger Band. And if we have a test here of this middle area here, it's exactly at our bearish targets between 10,000, even down to $9,200. And this here is the range where I would start to go all in again if we have a major correction. And I already have some buy orders on Coinbase and also on Binance to buy some more cryptos over here if we're gonna have a major correction down to those levels because I think it is possible but if we're coming down to those levels most likely it's gonna be a short-lived correction so that's why make already now sure that you're ready to buy in once we're gonna see such a correction we have also the stochastic here quite toppy here it looks like that we could see a major correction down to those levels MACD still shifted to the upside so let's see and wait what will happen here also with the MACD if we are going to have such a possible major correction and of course here the RSI you can see was also quite toppy and uh, also here it is healthy if we're coming down to cool off a bit the RSI test the 50 level bounce again from it and at the same time also retest here the 20 weekly moving average which always is holding as a very strong support in an uptrend and Bitcoin if we zoom out is definitely in a big big uptrend and what we have seen right now is just the beginning of a major multi-year bull run so make sure that you're buying the dip and not trying to sell the tops because during an uptrend it's always good to just focus on dips and buying when the market is bleeding like we have seen yesterday of course this was just a very small dump nothing to be scared because it's normal that in the crypto space sometimes you see big corrections up to 50 percent this is absolutely normal and you always should take it as an opportunity to buy more and not to panic sell and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget moon up the likes subscribe to the channel tick the little bell also subscribe to the twitch and discord channel very important and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye